Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now going to go through this paper, um, which is the June 2024 Pure Mathematics P1 paper from Edexcel International A Level. And um, as always, I'm going to go through each question individually, even sometimes part by part, and save each video in the playlist for the paper as well as the playlist for the topic. Um, and I'm going to sometimes take a bit of time explaining the question. I'm not like doing it in the time I would do a real exam. I'm trying to use this, um, these videos as a teaching tool to help me explain certain concepts to my students um, that I feel they need to concentrate on. So let's start straight away with question number one. Here we have this integral. We've got to integrate with respect to x, whatever's inside this bracket. So before we start to integrate this, we have to prepare each term for integration. Now, the term that is not quite ready to be integrated the way it is written down is this term over here. We have to rewrite this such that we can integrate it. Now, um, common mistake people make when they do this, basically what we have to have is an x cubed term. The x term has to be on the numerator. So we're going to use the laws, the law of indices that if you have one over a to the power of n, that becomes a to the power of negative n. Now what we've got to understand is this power of three is only applied to the two, to the three, not the two. It's like, 2 times x times x times x, 2x cubed. The 2 is not being raised to the power of 3. So when we rewrite this, what we could do is you can think of this as 3 over 2 times 1 over x cubed. Think of it like that. That's 3 over 2x cubed. So it's going to be 3 over 2x to the power of minus 3. So you, write, you raise x to the power of 3 to the numerator, it becomes x to the power of negative 3. Right, so that's how you, a nice way of thinking about that. So we're going to integrate with respect to x. So I'm going to put this bracket because they're separate terms here. This is fine for integration. We can integrate that. And that's no problem. As we said, this has to change. We're going to write three over two x to the power of negative three, and then negative seven again. That's fine for integrating. Now we have written everything in the correct form for us to be able to integrate we can now actually integrate. So when you integrate these type of expressions, you first of all, when you start integrating, you start writing the integral sign. Okay, and you add one to the power, so this becomes 10x to the power of five, so I've added one to the power, and then whatever the new power is, you divide by that new power. So add to the power and divide by the new power. So it's like the opposite or the inverse of differentiation. And for this one, same thing, we have 3 over 2 x to the power of. Now, if you add 1 to negative 3, it becomes negative 2. And we're going to also divide by negative 2. So the denominator gets multiplied by negative 2. And minus 7. Now, when you have a constant term, it just gains an x. Because remember, differentiating and integrating are reverse. So if you, if you differentiate 7x, you get 7. If you integrate 7, you get 7x. It gains an x. You can think of it as, originally, it's this. Minus 7 or, you know, 7 is the same as 7x to the power of 0. When you integrate that, you get 7x to the power of 1 over 1. You can think of it like that if you want to as well. That's fine. And don't forget, whenever you have this type of indefinite integral, where there's no limit, which we're going to learn about in P2, then you must put plus C to stand for the constant of integration. Without that, you will definitely lose marks. So now we can simplify give each term in the simplest form. So 10 over 5 is 2, so 2x two to the power of 5. And this is going to give you minus 3 over 4. So it's going to be plus 3 over 4. We have minus times a minus down here. It gives you plus 3 over 4x to the power of negative 2, minus 7x plus c. So that's fine as your final answer. You could also, if you want to, you could put 2x to the power of 5, plus 3 over 4x squared. You can rewrite that with the x in the denominator. Minus 7x plus c. So both of those are perfectly fine ways of expressing your answer to this question. Okay, so that concludes this question. 
Um, question number one from this June 2024, pure mathematics P1 paper. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in the top right of the screen at the end of the video. Other questions from integration of P1 you can find in the playlist in the bottom right of the screen. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and the video that you'll see linked on the top will take you, will show you how to use my channel to find what you're looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.